Hi everyone, welcome back. In this session, I am going to explain about uh, analogy and the two number analogy. Uh, now we will continue the last session uh, of number analogy. Here, in this session, especially I am focusing on uh, squares logic. I am focusing on uh, squares logic. So, let's see the question what he has uh, given. See the first question. Here the question is uh, 21. 440 after that 18 is given now we have to find the next number see here first group of numbers are 21 and 440 first you have to find the logic for first group of numbers after that uh, you have to apply the same logic for second group here the logic is uh, here first number is 21 and the second number is uh, 21 square minus 1 21 square is equal to 441. 441 minus 1 which is equal to 440. So, apply the same logic for next one also. First number is 18. So, next number becomes 18 square minus 1. 18 square value. 18 square is equal to 324 minus 1 which is equal to 323. Therefore, in place of this blank, 323 should be there. Here the answer for this question is 323. 323 is the answer. And uh, the logic what we are following is uh, first one is n and the second one is uh, n square minus 1. Here the logic we are following uh, or else pattern we are following is uh, n comma n square minus 1. Here we are following the pattern of uh, n comma n square minus 1 and in place of question mark our answer is 323 that is the answer for this question. Let's see the next question guys this problem is uh, very important uh, once observe the numbers carefully and uh, solve the problem see here here the numbers what he has given is uh, first one is 625 next one is 650 after that 900 after that uh, question mark uh, here first two numbers uh, here first number is 625 and second number is 650 third one in the second group that is uh, 900 what is the uh, next number in the second group uh, here if you observe first number if you observe first number 625 uh, 625 is nothing but uh, 25 square 625 is nothing but what uh, 25 square and uh, here we can write this uh, 650 as uh, 25 square plus 25. Why? Because uh, 625 plus 25 which is equal to 650. 625 plus 25 is equal to 650. 625 is nothing but what? 25 square. 25 square plus 25 that is equal to 650. So, you can apply the same logic for next one also. Here this value is 30 square. Here this value is 30 square. So, you can apply the similar logic for this one also. Here we, can, we have taken now 25 square plus 25. First one is 25. That is the reason why we have taken 25 square plus 25. In the similar fashion, here the first number is 30. So, 30 square. For this number you have to add 30 only. Why? Because uh, he is adding the square. Uh, which number square we have taken? That number is adding. Uh, here we are taking the square of 30. So you have to add 30 to this uh, number. 30 square is equal to 900. The value of 30 square is 900. And if you add 30 to this number, what you will get? 930. Therefore, in place of this blank, uh, 930 should be there. Now, in place of this question mark, uh, in the given question, that is uh, 930 is the required answer for this question. Here, in this problem, he is following the logic or n square comma n square plus n. Here, he is following the logic of uh, n square comma n square plus n. In first group, uh, n is equal to 25 whereas in second group n is equal to 30 that is the uh, uh, logic in this uh, question 
n is equal to n square n square comma n square plus n in first group n is equal to 25 and in second group n is equal to 30 in this way you have to solve this problem and the answer for this question is 930 next problem see here here the numbers are this is also important model 110 132 210 after that, uh, what number will come after 210? Here, if you observe carefully, first uh, numbers, uh, first number, 110 is nothing but we can write 110 as uh, 10 square plus 10. 10 square plus 10, which is equal to 110. And uh, second one is uh, 11 square plus 11. Here, 10 square is uh, 100. 100 plus 10, that is equal to 110. Whereas, uh, 11 square plus 11. What is 11 square? 121. 11 square is equal to 121. 121 plus 11, which is equal to 132. Now, you can apply the same logic here also. Here, this uh, we can write this 210 as uh, 14 square plus 14. Uh, 14 square plus uh, 14. 14 square value is 196. Uh, plus you have to add 14 to this number. So, 14 square plus 14 that is equal to 210. 14 square plus 14 is equal to 210. And uh, the last one becomes, uh, and the last one is, uh, here what we have to take, uh, here the logic it is following is, it is clear that n square plus n logic. Uh, for each and every individual numbers, uh, the logic is uh, n square plus uh, n logic. Uh, and uh, in the second uh, group, second number, which number we have to take in consider? Here, these two are consecutive numbers. First one is uh, 10 square plus 10. After that, 11 square plus 11. Once it is over, it is started with uh, 14. 14 square plus 14. After that, you have to take uh, 15. 15 square plus uh, 15. 15 square is equal to 225. 15 square is equal to how much? 225 plus 15. If you add 15 to this number, what you will get here? 240. 225 plus 15. 240. So, in place of this blank, 240 should be there. That is the required answer for this question. Guys, uh, here for this question, you can also go by another, uh, another logic that is... Uh, you can write this uh, 110 as 11 square minus 11. 11 square minus 11 is also 110. 11 square is 121 minus 11 which is equal to 110. And here it is uh, 12 square minus 12. 12 square minus 12. Now this one is uh, 15 square minus 15. 15 square value is 225. 225 minus 15 that is equal to 210 and uh, after that here the number should be 16 square minus uh, 16. 16 square value is 256 uh, minus 16. If you subtract 16 from this number what you will get? Uh, 240. Therefore in place of this question mark uh, 240 should be there. Therefore our logic is either n square plus n logic or else uh, n square minus uh, n logic. You can follow either first one or else uh, second one based on your convenient. Uh, so, this is the answer for this uh, for this question. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the session. Thank you. Thank you very much for watching.